Welcome to the Longmont Museum. My name is Justin Veach. I'm the manager of the museum's Stewart Auditorium. And we are coming at you live and direct from the Stewart Auditorium this afternoon via Facebook Live, live uh, longmontpublicmedia.org and local Comcast cable channel 8 and 880. So hello to all of you out there in internet land and cable television here in Longmont. We're happy to uh, sort of see you. I guess. Uh, thanks for being there. I want to make sure that we recognize the people who make these kinds of programs possible. Um, the Scientific Cult and Cultural Facilities District, um, the Friends of the Longmont Public Library, the Stewart Family Foundation, the men many uh, members and donors to the Longmont Museum. Thank you all. We simply couldn't do all that we do without you, so thank you. I'm happy to report that Friday afternoon concerts are back. Yes, after a year, it's been a year of not doing these, um, we have returned, although uh, it appears you haven't. So we're hoping that you're out there at home or standing somewhere with your phone staring at the concert in a parking lot somewhere or something. My God, you could be just about anywhere watching this. Um, so glad you're here. Um, tonight, you know, we, we're kicking off the Friday afternoon concert series this afternoon, um, and we'll be doing this uh, the first Friday of uh, the month for the next three months. So February 5th, March 5th, and April, oh, I think it's April 2nd or something like that. Correct me if I'm wrong out there in Facebook land. Um, you can always visit our website for more information, www.longmontmuseum.org. And while you're there, you might want to check out and see what else we've got going on. We've got quite a bit happening. We have an incredible Impressionism show up right now. It's going to be up through July. It's proving very popular. We can't accommodate too many people in the building, however, due to COVID. So we recommend purchasing your ticket in advance online via our website. You'll want to check that out. Anyway, without further ado, this afternoon we are delighted to have uh, a pair of distinguished musicians from Colorado, uh, Christina, oh boy, <laughs> I need a glass of water, don't I? Christina Jennings, of course, and Matthew Dane. And this is actually a makeup, sort of a half makeup concert. Um, Matt was going to join us for a concert back in the spring, which we had to cancel, and you know why we had to do that. Um, so tonight, this afternoon, I mean, we have Christina and Matt with us. Christina is the flute teacher at CU Boulder and a nationally recognized soloist. Matthew is principal violist with the Colorado Opera and frequent performer of chamber music along the front range. COVID has provided these two with ample opportunity to perform together a lot. They've been making a lot of lemonade, in other words. Um, and it helps that they uh, are married and live under the same roof. Um, so as an example of everything they've accomplished in the last, oh, going on a year, uh, they're, they're here with us this afternoon to provide us with a musical interlude amidst all of this. Ladies and gentlemen, Matthew Dane and Christina Jennings. Thank you so much. It's wonderful to be here. As classical musicians, there is nothing that brings us more joy than being able to play music. And in a beautiful space like this with an actual acoustic dressed up clothes and here we are um, for a program, a short program that really amplifies diverse voices and gives you the whole range of emotions that one can experience and through the, um, through the instruments of the flute and the viola. Thank you so much for being here and Matt will tell us a little bit about the first piece. Jonas Arota is a good friend of ours, an excellent violist uh, and a colleague in the summer. Uh, Jonah wrote this piece for us last summer um, and we're just delighted to, to be able to play it for you today. I'm actually playing viola de more on this. As you can see, it's a, um, without getting too long, it's a 14 string Baroque instrument. Uh, I play the top seven strings and the seven below resonate for a unique sound. Uh, Jonah, was very excited to 
and he was game to give it a try to write for it. Um, he was inspired by quantum mechanics to write this piece. You might think that uh, entanglement might sound a little negative, but I think in the quantum mechanic world, it's a positive thing. So we, we basically start apart and eventually find each other and grow together. Hope you enjoy.
Next, I will share with you a solo flute piece called Homeland by Alison Holgens Lull. And um, this is a piece that was in convergence of three disasters in the summer of 2018. Hurricane Maria, the civil war in Syria, and the US political arrest. Alison Logan's Hull says, when you are forced to leave your country in order to survive, when the people of your country are completely divided, when your country has been destroyed by a natural disaster, a human disaster, is home still home?
Uh, the next piece that I'll be playing is by the Baroque composer Christian Petzold. Petzold was a, he is not a household name now, however he was, uh, he, he was a contemporary of Bach and Vivaldi, and in fact knew them both. Uh, this piece was written, it, it, does, it doesn't come to us in a manuscript form, it's a, it was written down by a friend of his. Um, there's a lot of flexibility in how we play it, so I, I um, it's in multi-movements, as are the box suites. However, what you'll notice is that these are much, these are sort of like uh, little character sketches compared to box suite movements. So the whole thing is about maybe 11, 12 minutes. And I hope you enjoy it.
The next two solo pieces are um, pieces that my students were working on this past fall, and I was inspired to learn them by the um, beauty of the the compositions and the way the students played them. They're both joyful. Um, the Telamon 11th Fantasy in G major is in three short parts. And uh, the next piece I'm honored to play is Annika Sokolovsky's Bulgarius, composed in 2012. Annika is my new beloved colleague at CU Boulder. We are so lucky to have her, and she's written a lot for flute. So it's a name you'll be hearing if you, if you follow me. <laughs> She says, Bulgarius was inspired by the breathy timbre of the Bulgarian caval and the complex meter of Bulgarian folk music. Bulgarius is a virtuosic dance for solo flute. All material for this piece is original, save a couple of bars that were inspired, by, that inspired the composition. It has some wild moments, some singing and multiphonics and um, quarter tones, and uh, it is sort of a wild dance. Hope you enjoy it. Thank you. 
The next piece we'll be playing, uh, I'll introduce, and then Christina will introduce the last one. Um, this piece by Irina Esmail, uh, also a friend of ours. Um, she wrote this piece um, in 2017, originally for flute and cello. It's titled uh, Nadia, which means river in Hindi. Um, I think, to me, what that means in this piece from the experience of, of working on it is that uh, we have a couple, there are a couple of different ragas that she that she uses, and, I, and basically the, you'll hear the two of us kind of, you can imagine us being uh, just parts of the stream flowing down sometimes together, sometimes apart, and complementary, not always necessarily sounding like we're playing exactly together, drifting in and out of, uh, of synchronicity. Hope you enjoy. And then we'll conclude with a duo by Dev Yen, which is um, perhaps the piece that we've played the most. I think we it was probably the first piece of music that we ever played when we met in 1996. And it's traveled um, through us and um, through the years. And here we are in 2021, closing our program with it. Thank you all so much for being here. It's a pleasure to play.
Well, I hope you'll please join me in uh, thanking Matthew Dane and Christina Jennings for spending this lovely afternoon with us. It was a really gorgeous concert, and uh, it's funny what happens with a little bit of captivity and isolation, huh? <laughs> a little bit of captivity, a lot of captivity and isolation goes a long way. <laughs> Absolutely gorgeous. Thank you so much. I hope you'll join us again sometime. Beautiful afternoon. Please join us in a month on March 5th for an afternoon of jazz with the Heath Walton Band. And then again on Friday, April 2nd at 2.30 with espresso and a little more jazz, this time gypsy jazz, and some swing. Uh, thank you for joining us and be well out there.